Well, welcome everybody once again to my garage where today we are going up to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm located down here in Lincoln, so we're driving. It wants me to, there's two ways to go. You can either go through Chicago or go through Rockford and over. And yeah, there's where we're going to Milwaukee to the uh, baseball stadium. I think it's called, what, American Family Field now, which is a terrible name, but it used to be called Miller Park, I think, but... That's where we're going to see the Brewers versus the uh, Guardians. Um, this could be a bit complicated today because today is August 18th, uh, 2024, if you're watching this from the future. And the Democratic National Convention is going on in Chicago. And then apparently in Woodstock, Illinois, which is east of Rock Island, not Rock Island, Rockford, somewhere over here, is there's a Trump rally being held today, which I didn't know about. So both ways we go are risking traffic. So, but I'm going to go through Rockford and avoid Chicago. Maybe I'll go through Chicago on the way back. But in any case, that's what we're doing. It. I've been to every single one of these superchargers up through here until Milwaukee. So, I guess I'll just do it's more efficient. It wants me to stop in Rockford at 19%, which probably makes sense. I guess there's a couple, if I really can't make it, I could stop in Rochelle or Peru if I really can't make it to Rockford, but I want to stop it. Uh, and of course it wants me to stop at the uh, 150 kilowatt station, which I don't, I'm not sure why. Like right down the road is a 250. Like why would I stop at the 150? But, oh well. In any case, uh, that's what we're doing. So let's go. Well, welcome everybody to Rockford, Illinois, where we are shortly going to exit to uh, the first supercharger of this trip. Yeah, the car wants us to go to a V2 supercharger, even though there are three superchargers in Rockford, and I believe two are V3, but seeing as we're, how we're going to get there at 23%, uh, it shouldn't really matter, so I guess I'll because um, this car caps at 170 anyway, and at 123 or 23%, probably only going to get 150 anyway, realistically. So I'll just go there. I believe this is the one at the mall. So I have been to all of these before. So unfortunately, I have not not going to be adding any new ones. Oh, 25 miles an hour. I guess I need to slow down a bit. I believe I'm at 125 or so superchargers that I have stopped and charged at. Coming back, if the only way I would add some is if I go through Chicago. So maybe on the uh, way back I will do that, but we'll see what I feel like doing. There's construction everywhere, apparently. It is at the farthest point possible in the parking lot as well, if I remember right, from the mall. So, and the mall, oh, I don't know if the mall's open or not, because it's like 8.50 on a, now turn my water right bottle goes everywhere. Drive. Wow, can I even turn here? Well, there's an arrow saying, I'm not actually sure if I can turn, I don't think I can. No, I can't turn there, I don't think. Well, maybe I could have. Oh, so I'll go this way. It'll be probably faster anyway.
like looks like literally it looks like literally nothing is open at 9 a.m. on a Sunday but here we are at Cherryville Ball now turn right to stay on South Cherryvale Mall Drive giant mall which everything is oh my gosh <laughs> that's hilarious there's a cyber truck here what are the odds of that now your destination is on the left oh my gosh I have to get my water bottle it fell over uh, I'm really not sure why a cyber truck would be here considering this is a slow charger and there are two other there's two uh v3 chargers in this uh in rockford here so just right down the road literally a couple miles so i don't know why you would be here in a cyber truck because they can actually benefit from the faster speeds way more than i can like i'm not even going to benefit but hey i guess they can do what they want well, you join me in Rockford, Illinois at a V2 supercharger. This one, this is the one located at an abandoned, uh, not an abandoned mall, a mall that's closed currently because it is a 9 a.m. on a Sunday. And you notice there's a cyber truck there, which is the first one I've seen outside of California, I think. Well, no, I saw one in Kansas City, but anyway, so let's plug in. It's kind of... This is a V2, of course. So I should get 150 kilowatts or so. Yeah, I'm not really sure why the Cybertruck would even be here, because, oh, there we go. Leaderboard unlocked. Race other drivers, uh, um, okay. That's what I want, the high score at uh, each place I go. Okay, so while it ramps up, see? See, look, here in Rockford, well, I guess maybe, is there only one other one? Okay, there's one other one, like literally right down the road that's a V3. So I don't know why you would be here in a Cybertruck, considering, see, look at the speeds right here. Okay, I, I know, I don't care. I am at 23%, so. 112 kilowatts, well, I might be actually a little low, but. Maybe the station sucks, but I don't really care because I'm not in a rush. So. so as you can see, I only need to charge like 20% to get to uh, Milwaukee up here. And, and yeah, those are super, I don't think there's, there's no other, um, yeah, there's none on the trip. So unless I go off the route to Lake Geneva, six stalls could go to Lake Geneva but but yeah so there's where I'm going in Milwaukee uh the game's at one o'clock and I think I can get in there an hour and a half early so what is that 11 30 yeah but right now I'm gonna be there at 10 21 a.m so at minimum I have an hour to kill doing something so uh, yeah I guess we're going to be charging at 112 kilowatts with a cyber truck bizarrely at this abandoned mall so yeah I'll let you know where i go next well i have decided i am going to go to the lake geneva wisconsin supercharger when else am i going to go there and i have the time to do it it's going to be like probably a 30 minute detour but it is a six stall probably pretty small supercharger so it'll be interesting to check out my car is just basically this supercharger seems really old because it, it never got above 112 kilowatts and it just sat pegged there until just recently when now it starts dropping but it's also cheaper there to charge so i'm just going to go there and charge a charge a bit and then go up to milwaukee Cybertruck's still there. I don't know why you'd be here in a Cybertruck stuck at 112 kilowatts. You'd be here for hours, but 
any case, uh, I forgot to reset it when I left, so, um, I'm not gonna have data for the whole trip, I'll have it on Teslify, which I'll show you at the end, but, uh, I won't have it on the car, but, that was 160 miles, 274 watt hours a mile, if you're curious, that segment, so in any case, I'm gonna head over to Lake Geneva Supercharger now, and I'll see you there. Well, we are about to leave Illinois and enter Wisconsin here in about, I don't know, probably less than a mile. Right on the other side of this exit and, or this on-ramp and junk right here. Should be right on the other side of it, looks like the state line. giant Wisconsin welcome sign. I'm sure it will be amazing. Well, nothing yet. And we are officially at the state line, basically. Yeah, that's called Wisconsin Rock Company, so gotta be assigned somewhere, right? That we're in Wisconsin. There's the Wisconsin Welcome Center in a fourth of a mile. What, does no one care we're entering Wisconsin? I guess Wisconsin doesn't. Is there really no sign for entering Wisconsin? Oh, there it is. Kind of off the road, but uh, Wisconsin welcomes us. Yay! Well, we are about to exit to the supercharger here at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Oh, I guess that Tesla's not going there unless they have a different route. I was going to follow them in. ramps in Wisconsin they're all like 20 30 miles an hour crazy and there's really no space to slow down there's that model 3 again guess they're not going to the supercharger unless their Tesla nav is better than mine and has a secret way guess we'll find out if they appear Supercharger is definitely not on off this uh, main road here. Ooh, the ski road and the mountain top is to the left. Okay. Well, why not? We can go skiing. American Resort Golf Course is to my right, apparently. Oh, this place uh, looks expensive. Now, turn what on earth? Stay on Grand Geneva Way. Am I going into it? Um, this is not what I expected. Is this public road, I guess? Okay. What's what's with the gate? Yeah, this is uh, a slightly more expensive place and not what I expected. As this guy goes like very slowly in front of me. There's a giant building on my right here, which I don't think I can even see through the trees. It is the 
Timber Ridge Moose Mountain Falls. Timber Ridge Lodge. Oh, that looks uh, very expensive. Slow, dangerous curves. Oh, man. Oh, autopilot's uh, freaking out there a bit. Wow, that was that was dangerous. The Lynx the golf course here. You can do it autopilot. Auto speed. Autopilot speed restricted to 20 miles an hour is not a message I would thought I would see very often. Look, they weren't right. Everyone crashes into these curves. Okay, I'm not going 20 miles an hour. Wow, there's a uh, fancy golf course here. And that was a Bentley going the other direction. Okay, I guess I am in the, a wealthy area, that's for sure. Wow, that's a... Uh, of course, I don't know what a fancy and non-fancy golf course looks like. We only care about the supercharger. Who cares about all this other stuff? 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Slow, hidden drive to right. Right River Falls at something. Uh, now let's see. your destination is on the left. Guess I, I guess they're over here somewhere. And they are completely deserted, it looks like. I'll just go for one, the 1A, why not, right? Kind of a weird setup. It might be kind of tight to plug into 1A and 1B, but. Been plenty of people hitting the curb is what it looks like also. Wow, I'm really close to the, Need to trim their trees here. I'm very close to it. I don't think I'm straight, but whatever. I'm the only one here. Well, you join me at the Lake Geneva Wisconsin Supercharger, a very small six stall version two supercharger and it's located at a very rich area. There's like a golf course nearby and you can see the golf course there, and this is some kind of super fancy, expensive uh, resort area, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go plug in. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. We only got 120. I guess we're at 34%, so. Still starting. Uh, go, oh, there it goes. I don't know why it's saying to 100% when I have a trip in here. Oh, I guess it's, well, I don't need to charge because I can get to the Milwaukee Stadium at 10% right now. we have to leave from the super expensive place let's see uh well this is a proper v2 supercharger the other one must have been an old v2 where it was limited to like 110 kilowatts but this one will go up to yeah 150 or 143 which is about what you get yeah this is like probably the cheapest charging on the whole trip at 38 cents so i'll probably charge here for a bit and because I still have time. I mean, I can't even get into the stadium until 11.40, I believe. Ooh, there's some different options to go up to Milwaukee. Take the scenic route. I don't know if it was very scenic, but... Let's leave it on the faster one for now. 
Well, uh, yeah, let's uh, go see what's around here. Need to uh, trim these trees is what they need to do. You always got to put the supercharger literally as far away as possible. Oh, there's um, tennis courts, of course. There's a nice playground. Well, yeah, it looks about it within walking. I don't know if you can go in that building, go to the bathroom or what. But yeah, it's about the excitement of G the Geneva Lake Supercharger. Well, I just finished eating and well, apparently it's raining now. I didn't, it wasn't supposed, to, there was a 0% chance of rain today. So that shows you what, how accurate the weather is, but I'm at 94%. I just ate something and yeah, I'm ready to get over to the Brewer Stadium. Looks like I'll arrive pretty close to right when it opens. But so I put in my uh, home after I go there and look at this. It has decided it wants me to charge to 100% and then drive up there and then drive to Peru, Illinois and get there at 10. So I don't know why it does this. It makes zero sense to charge to 100%. There's no way that is efficient, but, but in any case, I'm going to uh, delete that. So, and yeah, we're gonna head to the stadium about 46 minutes away or so. Currently, there doesn't appear to be any traffic. And uh, Brewer Stadium is nice as there is, as you can see, a giant parking lot all around it. So I don't have to worry about a parking garage or anything. I just have to get ripped off by the brewers themselves, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to uh, unplug and get on the road because I'm at 95% because there's no reason to stay here longer. Supercharger got a bit busy. There were, uh, uh, well, what, three other cars here? Now there's only two, a Model X and Y. There was another Y, but, uh, yeah, no one ever parked next to me, which is unfortunate for them because I was not charging very fast for most of it. So, uh, yeah, in any case, uh, let's go to American Family Field, I guess it's called now, instead of Miller Park or whatever it was before. All right, time to head out of the super fancy place. Apparently, this is a spa. Why are you mad at me? I'm not going to hit the tree, I promise. According to uh, PlugShare, at least, that building in front of us is a spa. So, definitely a fancy place. You're going to, like, zoop. Oh, wait, what? What is it telling me to do? He wants me to go out a different way, apparently. It has just decided. That's fine, I can do that. Might as well go a different way. Be a bit more interesting. And this has to be a rich area. There is a very expensive Porsche about to turn left in front of me here. If I can ever turn left. All right. We've escaped. Turn off, turns. All right, let's see. I guess we'll continue the tour of this crazy expensive area. Oh, they have fountains. Registration, valet parking. Oh, man. Things are getting crazy now. With the vacation clubs ahead of us. Oh, these... They made these roads so narrow for really no reason I can determine. And as you can see, it started misting a little bit, even though there was a 0% chance of rain today. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, he's going to wait for me. What a guy. In 500 feet, turn left onto Grand Geneva Way. Okay, this road is turned into a parking lot. That's kind of weird. Go left here. Now turn left onto Grand Geneva Way. And left again, apparently. We're going, oh, the vacation club's to the left. This area is convoluted to get around. Oh, that must be the golf cart garage on the left. Okay. When there's a giant golf cart garage, I must be in a uh, rich area. That is for sure. In 500 feet, turn right onto Sheridan Springs Road. Definitely interesting, just like trying to visit all these superchargers. I uh, go into some places I'll have turn never right been before. Sheridan Springs Road. All right, I have probably exited the expensive area, I think. Caution, golf cart crossing. Well, that's normal. Of course, I don't know what the speed limit is on this road. There you go. There are no signs telling me how fast I'm supposed to go is annoying. It says it's 15, which uh, I doubt this is 15. Another golf cart crossing. Okay. Okay, what? Well, autopilot apparently didn't see that sign, so we're it still thinks it's 15 miles an hour. So I guess I can't use that. In 1,000 feet, turn left 
of Short Road. Road closed ahead. Um, we might be making a U-turn. It really is. Which well, where is it closed, car? To the left or right? What? I'm confused. Now turn left onto State Road 36. Is it really closed? I'm confused. It doesn't look closed to me, but... I don't see any traffic on it. Maybe, did they like just... I don't know, that's bizarre. It looks fine to me. Turn around, see where it says to go now. Where is the highway? Or the interstate? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Sheridan Springs Road. All right, I guess we'll go back this way. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's closed or not, or what road is closed. I'm very confused. Because that road definitely looked open, but... Now turn right onto Sheridan Springs Road. I guess I shouldn't drive around the barricades. There's a fancy park in front of us, White River Country Park. All right, we'll go this way then. Still gonna be 10 minutes early, so. Well, then that's to get into the stadium as soon as I possibly can, which is not like I need to do that. raining it said zero percent chance so let me check on the new tesla weather thing i have now oh i can't click on it there it goes chance of rain zero percent okay as it's actively raining that, that makes sense this is not a road you should use autopilot on <laughs> Here's the post office, delivering on Sunday. Dang, 45 is a high speed limit for this road.
stadium right in front of us. See if I can figure out how to get to it now, I guess. Now keep left at the board. Exit on the left? I mean, it looks like I might. That's bizarre. In one mile, take exit from the way down the left toward the Mitchell Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Right lane to Rumors Boulevard. Okay. Guess I'll ignore my GPS here. Three fourths of a mile to the right. Okay. I guess I'll follow the sign. Unlike. There's a stadium right there. You can see the roof of it. You can see it does have a dome. That's why I wasn't too concerned about the read. Oh. There's another Porsche in front of me. What's with all the Porsches today? General Parking Charter Buses. I'm General Parking. No turn on red from left lane. Good thing I'm not in the left lane. I guess the Porsche, I think that's, that might be like, I don't know, the player's parking lot, but the, uh... In 500 feet, keep left to stay on Frederick Miller Way toward General Parking. Kinda and officials and stuff. To stay on Frederick Miller Way. Handicap to the left, uh, the other parking straight, huh? Kind 
kind of weird. Why are they having a... Oh, I don't know. feet turn left onto Seelig Drive.
five hours of childhood cancer research from Alex's by the Stand College. The two runs veteran today have 967 total RBIs by your Milwaukee Brewers so far this season. 2,835 hours of research has been done on the of the research management campaign. Well, I survived the baseball game, and of course, Cleveland lost, as usual, when I go. I think they've lost, like, pretty much every game I've gone to, but... In any case, uh, I'm here at the baseball field, and going back, it wants me to go through Chicago, which seems like a weird... See, look, if I put in uh, Lincoln, where I live, it wants it thinks going through Chicago is faster. I'm not really sure why. And this, to look at the traffic in Chicago. It is Sunday. That's a lot of red. But I'm not, I'm not going here. I'd be going, what, down 90, or down, what, 294 or whatever? And then over here? Let's see what it looks like. There are tollways, of course, if I go this way. Yeah, so he wants me to go 294 to I-88, then cut down. Oh, that's an interesting one. But anyway, I mean, the point is um, I'm going to visit. I want to go visit some more superchargers, I think. So I'm just going to go to this one first. And, wow, that's a lot of red leaving the game. We'll go down here, because it's got a bunch of spots open. Why not? So, I think I actually need, like, 11 more to be on the leaderboard for Model 3s on Teslify. But I don't think I'm going to get to 11 unique ones today <laughs> more. But, anyway, I'm going to head back home. I am off work tomorrow, so I'm not in any huge rush. So, uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, 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 let's attempt to get out of this disaster. There were a lot more people came into this game than I thought, like 35,000 people or something. So let's attempt to escape. Now turn on to seal it dry. Looks like we can get out over here. Think. Yep. Jeez, people just blow through here, don't they?
Well, we are about to be at the supercharger in Greenfield, Wisconsin here, located in some kind of shopping center. Now turn left. I don't know. Will I ever be able to turn left here, though? That's the question. Looks like it's at a Meyer. which is a grocery store if you're not from uh, the Midwest. So not the most exciting. I mean, there's a lot happening on Sunday night in Milwaukee. Go, oh, you could have made it. Like it's behind the gas station over there. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Did I turn too soon? I might have. Now your destination is on the left. Um, whatever this guy's doing. I'm sure we can cut through that gas station, right? Why not? like we can. No, oh, there they are. Is that a Ford Lightning charging? I think that's the first non-Tesla I've ever seen charging. Oh, let's see. Oh, they're on both sides here. Use other side. Am I getting eBay alerts? Why? Well, here we are at the supercharger in Greenfield, Wisconsin, located at a Myers gas, well, gas station and a store, which is a grocery store. As you can see, there was a Ford Lightning charging there, which is uh, the first time I have ever seen a non-Tesla charging. But... Let's see, does it still want me to go? It still wants me to go through Chicago, bizarrely. Like, why? It doesn't really make sense from a getting there quickly point of view. Let me just cancel it, navigate there. Like it don't even give me the option of going the way I came. Google Maps says the, the other way is faster. Yeah, thanks. So it's really weird that it wants me to go. I mean, the only reason I don't know. I mean, I don't really. Do I really want to go through Chicago to visit a couple more superchargers? That seems like a bad idea. First, going the other way, where there will literally be no traffic the entire way. Like, is there no way to give it like alternate routes? Like, okay, let's see. This says I'll get home at 8 p.m. Now let's uh, setting. Let's turn off tolls because that. Won't let me go through Chicago, probably. Oh, there's no way. 
If I turn off toll roads, it still wants me to go that way. That's insane. Okay, so what's... So that says I'll get home at 8.35 without toll roads. Okay, we'll turn that off. And I'll add a wave... I'll add a... Oh, look, it, it says I can go this way, but then it wants me to cut over. Why would I... See, why would I do that, then cut over, instead of just going south? Like... So let's let's add a stop in let's add a I had to oops that's gonna mess it up. Unknown okay, that's good. So the other one remember was eight oh six PM through going through Chicago. Really? Eight thirty one? What? I need to charge in Peru for 20. So, how is this 30 minutes? Like, what is it telling me to do? I don't understand how it thinks this is a half hour farther. Because, according to Google, this taking I 39 is the. Uh, is the faster weight. Well, let's, I'll try one more time with no charging stops. See if it says it's the fastest way. See, there it goes. If with no charging stops, th that way is five minutes faster, which I agree with. So how would adding charging make me want to go through Chicago and be fast well I don't get it is it less miles 241 versus oh it's three miles shorter but you go through Chicago that's bizarre well I have made the executive decision not to go through Chicago because Google Maps says it's like 30 minutes faster to not go through Chicago so there's no way... I, I assume the car thinks that that's going to be the most efficient way to charge. But it's, it's thinking like, well, you'll save 10 minutes on charging by charging there going through Chicago. So that's better than going the other way and having, you know, inefficient charging. Also, something's going on. There's multiple emergency vehicles over there. But in any case, I'm just going to... Because it gives me two options to get to Dwight, in which... So I'm just going to go down here, probably charge either in Peru or Bloomington, depending on if I can make it to Bloomington or not. So I'm curious. Let's end the trip. So I'm at 97% right now. Let's put in Bloomington the Bloomington charger and see if it thinks I can get there. Oh, so I get the Bloomington at 6... See, why would I not go this way, car? That makes no sense. Well, the car wants to be... Well, how does this make sense? It wants me to charge for 5 minutes, but 3 minutes... To... So the car wants me to charge to 100% and then drive to... Uh... Well, if I do, if I do this, oh, I don't think I'll make it the entire way without stopping. I'll say that'd be my record for farthest driven on one charge. I think it's currently 200 miles. Curious. Could I make it all the way back home? Without chart? Oh, so now it wants me to go the way I want to go. Look at this. What? So, okay, so now it wants me to go the correct way. Well, that's bizarre. How far is it? What if I remove... Oops. What if I remove all charging stops? How far is it back to my house from here? 241... It says I can get home without charging. I'll get there at 12%. 2.5 miles. 
241 miles at 12, I mean, that'd be pretty efficient if I can do that. Hmm. But yeah, I guess I'm only going to visit two more unique superchargers on this trip, because I was looking at, I mean, the DNC is going on in Chicago right now, so it's kind of a disaster, and there's a bunch of, like, the Tesla nab doesn't show it, but there's a bunch of closed roads, like, some of these interstates are closed from what I can tell, or have a bunch of road work going on, so I don't even know if I can go this way, I might have to kind of detour around, but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave charging stops, or leave off superchargers, and I'll, I'll stop somewhere, I just need to stop basically one place. And I'll decide where I'm going to... I'll probably stop and get coffee, honestly. But, so... Which might be at a truck stop and not even at a supercharger. But, okay, I'm literally at 99%. So, I'm going to get on the road. All the lightning left. It's weird. I didn't stop the first time I hit the button. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's go, I guess. It says I can get home at 13%. I don't know if that's possible, but I guess we'll see. Well, update on going 241 miles, I believe, on one charge. Uh, it says I'll arrive at 4% still. It's been, it's, it's been as high as 12, and then it's been steadily decreasing. Oh, it just went away. But uh, it's, it's been... For the past, you know, like 20 miles, it's been saying 5 or 6% I'll get there at, so. This is after driving, what, 51 miles? Yeah, 51 miles, see. So it still thinks I can make it. The uh, 65 mile an hour warning just popped up for a second and went away, but I guess we'll see what happens. As I said, I'm probably going to stop anyway, so. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I decided to stop. I'm at a Loves, and which is also a subway, I believe, or something. It still thinks I can make it. It was like five, hanging around four or five percent the entire time. Uh, so I've driven about a hundred miles since Milwaukee, and it still thinks I can get there. So I'm convinced I can. I might have to slow down, and I've been going 75 the whole way. I might have to slow down to 70, but. Yeah, at this point, I'm probably going to stop and charge just because I don't really want to get home at 3% in case I actually have to go somewhere tomorrow or something because I only have a level 1 charger. So I'll probably stop in Bloomington briefly. But look at that efficiency for uh, 96 miles. Yeah, I'm going to get coffee or something and continue heading home. I'll probably stop in, yeah, Bloomington, as I said, because that's right off the road. But yeah, I'll see. Well, uh, this is a new one. So I got back in after getting my coffee and uh yeah no route found to this location and it just set stuck at calculating let's try that again i know it's gonna want me to charge of course remove still things i can get there so let's see the superchargers and what's the most that one's off the interstate. That one's off the interstate. So it looks like Bloomington's the best one. Yeah, I guess that would make sense to stop at for a bit. To charge. I think the others are all the... 40... Oh, that's the fun one in the parking garage. And this one is... 43. Oh, okay. So yeah, I guess that's where we're going. I'll just leave it on the my home without supercharging program. Didn't see what it says. But yeah, probably next stop will be Bloomington. Well, my battery is now at 50%, as you can see, and it's and I've gone 119. Well, 28 kilowatts, not really half. 30 would be, but. In any case, I've got 119 miles, and it still thinks I can get there at 2%. So if you add those together, that's like 240 miles going from 99% to a zero, to 2%, basically. 
So that's pretty good for this car. So, I mean, that's about, if I ran it truly to zero, probably about 250 miles, and I started at 100, going 75 on the interstate. In 80 degree weather, it's been around 80 degrees. So yeah, that's that's pretty good, because the rated range of this car, when it was new, was 272 miles. And now it's a year old with about 3% degradation, so it's pretty impressive. Oh no, disaster has happened. Oh wait, it's back. <laughs> See that it went, it's been saying stay below 65 and I have been going 75 the entire way. It's actually said 2% for like a really long time, like since I left that last place, like 80 miles. And it finally went down, it just went down to 1%. And then as you saw, it switched over to uh, charging needed to reach destination, but now it's back to uh, stay below 65, so. I think what's happening now is I was getting a tailwind of about uh, 10 miles an hour, but because it's getting dark, as you can see with the windmills, the uh, because it's getting dark, the going into evening, the wind is dying down. So I've lost the uh, tailwind that's been helping me, and my uh, efficiency is slowly creeping higher. It was down to like. 221, 225, and there's back again. So because I have no tailwind anymore, I think unless I slow down, I'm not going to make it. Well, it still says I'll make it at 1%. Let's see the, uh, the live projection says I'll get there at 1 point. So I'll still make it according to this. So yeah, I would have saved 2.5% if I went 70 or below. Let's see what my consumption is for the last 30 miles so if I use my last 30 miles average it thinks I go 62 more miles and I have 63 more to go so yeah so I'll probably be stopping in Bloomington also I don't really want to get home at 1% anyway because yeah I have a little yeah it's just gonna I'm like right on the edge here of it, the car thinking it can make it. It's kind of weird. It just goes from 65 to you're not going to make it. I thought there was like a stay below 55 at some point, but I guess that's not a thing. But in case, I guess I'm probably going to stop at Bloomington in 26 minutes. Well, We are about, oh, I don't know, a mile and a half away from what's going to be the final supercharger of this trip. It is the one I have been to several times. It is the most convenient one near my house, of course. It is the one in Bloomington, Illinois here. There are three here in Bloomington, but this is the most, actually this one's a normal. I always call this place Bloomington. It's Bloomington Normal. West Rob Road or whatever. I think it's at a Circle K or something. It's crazy off ramp here. It's kind of weird. There's three superchargers here, but this is really the only one off the interstate. The one's in a one is in a, is in a third level parking garage in the middle of town, and the other's kind of on the east side of town, not near any interstate. So. This is really the only one anybody who travels through goes to for the most part, which is kind of kind of silly, but that's how it is, I guess. Now take exit 169A on the right. could have made it home with like one or two percent especially if I slowed down to 70 but but there's really no reason to uh, take the risk I mean
now turn right onto Sugar Creek Boulevard. Start calling this my home supercharger. At the Circle K here. Now turn right. Like we got a red, I believe that's a performance Model Y. Now your destination is on the left. Definitely not as exciting as a Cybertruck, but what can you do, I guess? I guess we won't steal the handicapped one, and even though they're all about the same from my point of view. Well, let's go here. Perfect. Well, we have once again arrived in normal Illinois at the uh, supercharger on West Rob Road. So V3, performance uh, Model Y over there. It's at a Circle K gas station. Been here many, many times, of course. See if we can get the car's maximum speed here of 170 kilowatts. I didn't give it much time to precondition, maybe like 15 miles, but with the temperatures, it should have been all it needed. No, well, looks like we're gonna do it. Yeah, we did it. 171. That's it? No higher than 170? Oh, I'm disappointed. I think I've seen 178. It's the highest I've ever seen. Or something like that. But yeah, we just need to get to my home down there in Lincoln. I'll probably... I'm not going to charge a ton because it's obviously cheaper to charge at my house than here. But probably have it to arrive home at like 20%. But, uh... Yeah, I'll see you next at, oh, whenever I unplug and then at home. Well, I just ran inside real quick to go to the bathroom and let's see. It says I'm going to get home at 24%. So I'll charge overnight, obviously, for at least 12 hours. So that'd be what, like 40 in the morning? So. That should definitely be fine, and I'll charge the rest at home where it's obviously cheaper. So, yeah, let's. I'm still getting 122 kilowatts, 40%. So, yeah, let's head out. All right, onwards to home, another. 36 miles. Well, I'm once again back in my garage, as you can see. So here's the uh, final numbers for the day. I, f I forgot to reset my trip odometer, so you guys only get Teslify, I guess. So uh, there's the total mileage, 520 miles. Got 85% of the car's rated range, which is pretty good. Oh, let's see. There's all the statistics if you are interested for superchargers. You can see eight hours driving. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the two and a half hours of my home means. Maybe it means, well, I, I don't know what it's from. But anyway, that uh, was my trip to Milwaukee. There's where it was. There and back, basically, on the same route. So yeah, I mean, autopilot just makes the entire thing really easy. I'm not really sure how I would go back to a car, especially a car without a version of autopilot. I guess I, you know, even going back to a gas car, I don't know why, it's just... Charging is really not even an, an inconvenience. So what did I use? 230% of the car's battery. So, I mean, you start with 100%. So, 
you only need only need like you only needed two charges to drive 520 miles and one of those charges is going to be really short so i mean you could have done what two 15 20 minute charges today and been fine and if you're and if you're telling me you're going to drive what was it 520 miles and not stop for 20 minutes twice i mean that's that's craziness right there because even a gas car you would have had to got, get gas at least one time during that so but in any case that's the end of this thrilling adventure uh leave a comment if you saw something exciting if you want to insult me that's always fun too uh yeah i mean join me for what's next the next planned trip is probably back to chicago next month to see another white Sox game and then i'll go to st louis as well during that month and maybe back to the peoria stadium a couple times in september so yeah those are kind of the next planned trips they could may happen they may not happen so but in any case uh thanks for watching and join me on the next one